Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul and a bunch of other kind of hauls, but um, this is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. I picked up this giant thing of Ajax with bleach. Um, it's just kind of a, uh, I use this to clean the bathroom. It's a like powder cleanser. Um, and I got the one with the bleach to do the shower. I think this is some of the best stuff to clean like your bathtub and shower and stuff with. Um, yeah, anyways, and then just like a good like a scrubby brush or like a scrubby sponge. And my dog is in here so you will hear him. Um, but anyways, it's only, it's, it's always at the Dollar Tree. The other thing I, I like that's the same as this is Comet. Um, but it's 28 ounces for a buck, so it's a good deal. I also got some hand sanitizer. We just needed some, and this is a good deal. I think it's a 10 ounce bottle. This is the aloe vera and moisturizing kind. Um, so we just like to have that on hand around the house when you have animals and things. It's not a bad idea. Okay. Um, I got quite a bit of food items, like snacking things, but they had Pringles there. These aren't like the full, full sized cans of Pringles. These are the 4.62 ounce size, but it's still a good deal for a dollar because I think that they're a dollar fifty or close to two dollars now. I don't really know. I don't really buy them very much, but uh, cheddar cheese and sour cream and onion. Exciting stuff. I was also hungry at the Dollar Tree, which is always like a colossal mistake to shop there when you're hungry. Um, I've seen a few people haul these and try them, and I did try these. These are the TGI Friday's Party Bites Premium Puffed Corn Snack, and it's the mac and cheese flavor. These are baked. They're not bad. They're just like a cheesy poof. But they're not as, like, you know, like a normal, like, yellow cheesy poof. They're not, like, super cheesy, I guess. I mean, I don't know. They're good, though, for a dollar. Not too bad. Um, I picked up this box of pasta roni shells and white cheddar. One of the, like, one of my quick and inexpensive and tasty meals that we like here. Anyway, like, my husband and I like. And this is a meal, like, I grew up on, like, my mom would just, it's a quick one to throw together. And very inexpensive. A box of mac and cheese. We get the Velveeta kind sometimes, but, I mean, this is even cheaper for a dollar. And then I buy the smoked sausage links, like, from Eckridge. Or I usually get the turkey skinless sausage link. There's, like, two large sausage links in a pack. And they're usually only 2 or $3. And then I just take one for, like, it's just my husband and I. And then I just either slice it up in slices or split it down the middle. And then kind of cut it into, like, quarter so like you have halves uh, if that makes sense um anyways and then just saute I mean they're pre-cooked you just have to warm it up so I just saute that in a pan with mac and cheese and then um whatever vegetable we have on hand like you know we have frozen peas or green beans or broccoli or something on hand all the time less than five dollars for an entire meal and it's filling and it's tasty and we like it Probably not the most healthy, but again, I buy the turkey sausage, so it's a lot better for you than if you're getting the regular sausage. Um, and the mac and cheese isn't terrible, and then if you throw in a vegetable, then not too bad. But that's one of my, like, and I know uh, my husband's favorite quick meals that we can just, like, throw together. Sorry, I'm reaching down here for some things. I'm going to get the rest of the food items out. She kind of bagged everything up, strangely. Um, yeah, I picked up two of these. Oh, this is a good deal. Um, I think I've gotten these before. These are just like the French fried onions that you put on top of a green bean casserole. I got two packages of them because these are 2.8 ounces, and I don't know if I need both of them for one casserole or not, but I just picked up two, and then I just got a can of... Um, cut green beans. These are only 79 cents at the Dollar Tree or at my Dollar Tree. And then I already have cream and mushroom soup, so I'm good to go. Um, I'm trying to get the rest of my food items. These, again, I was hungry. This is such a bad time to be at the Dollar Tree. These look so good, though. These are I, from the brand Rippin' Good. Um, these are double filled twist tops, so they're like knockoff Oreo cookies, but they're peppermint chocolate sandwiches, sandwich cream cookies, and they just sounded so good. I love chocolate and peppermint together, so that sounded good. And then the Halloween candy that they had up front also looked good. This is the Palmer brand chocolate, um, and I just got the pe regular creamy peanut butter cups, and these sounded pretty good. These are caramel apple cups, 
So caramel apple flavor in a chocolatey cup is what it says. So we'll see how those are. And these are five ounce bags each. So I like those. They're good. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is just kind of random, I think. Got a few little beauty items. Um, near the Halloween stuff, I just thought this bag was super cute. It's just a black uh, bag, and it's got a kitty cat face on it. And it does have a little, like, handle in a drawstring as well. So it's, like, definitely a trick-or-treater bag. I think I might give this to my mom, um, like, in her Christmas stocking or something, just for a little bag to have because she loves cats, and so do I. And I just thought that was really cute. And that'd be good for her to take her, like, gym clothes and stuff. Um, also in the Halloween aisle, I bought these. I don't know why. I don't need them. But they're just really cute. And you get 25 treat bags. And they just have little bags on them. And they come with the little silver twisty ties. I just thought these were really cute. I don't have a plan for these. I want to get one of them out. Necessarily, I might do something for um, my staff at work. But, let's see if I can take them out. Just look at one of these. Yeah. I just thought that was really cute, though, with a little bath on it. So, um, just enough to put a few little things in. A couple little candies or treats or something. So, again, 25 of them for a dollar. It's not bad. Um, also, in home decor, they have these foam wreath forms again these floral foam wreaths these are my favorite the um solid like round ones these are really they're kind of harder so they're easier to like hot glue things to um they're not super super big but these do make a nice size wreath i also picked up two sets of these christmas ornaments because i'm gonna try to make um an ornament wreath with these and glue these all around so i got one with the red and gold and one with silver and gold just glittery silver Christmas balls. There's 15 in each of these for a dollar, which I thought was a really good deal. That's not a bad deal if you're just wanting to do like, if you want to like fill up your tree, if you're doing like a themed color kind of thing, this is a good deal for 15 little round ornaments. And they had some bigger size ones, not a lot, but I thought that was a good deal. So hopefully that works out the way I want it to. And I'll show you if it does. And then I just picked up some more glue sticks. This is another really good deal. You get 20 mini glue sticks for a dollar. It's cheaper than the craft stores for sure. Um, I picked up some more earbuds because I'm always losing them, ruining them, whatever. But this one has a retractable little um, cord, so hopefully I won't lose them as easily. Slash, like, it'll just won't get all tangled up in my bag. Um, there you go. Um, I got these socks because I just thought they were cute and I have someone in mind for them like as a kind of funny Christmas gift, but they're just hot pink socks and it's a pizza slice equals, it's a pizza equals everything. Um, I think she'll think those are funny. I got two more coloring books. I don't need any more coloring books, but these ones just, this, these kinds of, that are just like the patterns are my favorites to do. Like, these are really actually very relaxing to me to do, like, the mandala style or, like, the patterns kind of thing. Um, so, I got that one. And this one just looked really fun. It's the Color Couture. So, it's, like, actual, like, clothes and, like, models. And there was, like, one that had a bunch of shoes and stuff and, like, bathing suits to color, purses. I just think this would be a fun one to do. So, for a dollar, you can't beat it. And the last two things I got are really related. Sorry, someone's calling me. Um, I picked up another LA Colors. This is the one I haven't seen before. They had three other ones, I think. But this is the LA Colors Bold Eyes Six Pan Eyeshadow Palette. And I got the one in Smoky Warm. I'm going to pull it out here yeah, if I can. Sorry, people are calling me. Um, I know people are texting me. <laughs> Alrighty. So they had Smoky Warm. They had, like, the basics. They had another, I think they had two other ones. Um, but this one I just thought looked really pretty. So kind of these kind of shades that are sort of kind of right up my alley. I'm going to turn my light and see if that's any better. Or maybe it's better without the light. So this kind of bronzier color. There's some nice darker colors. There's a couple matte shades. Um, just going to swatch these few kind of like more shimmery shades yeah so those three colors are definitely on my out i really like that warm kind of bronzy color and this deeper color here um and then this there's i guess it's just one matte shade in the whole thing but 
I mean, ooh, that's really actually very pretty. It's kind of a taupey brown color. So, um, yeah, for a buck, I just thought this was cute. I don't need any more eyeshadow, but I wanted to try that. And the last thing I caught was, they've had these before, the fruit-shaped lip balms. They have a lemon, I think a green apple, and then the strawberry. And I wanted to get them the last time, and I didn't, and I don't know why. And I just thought I'm just going to do it today, so I'm going to open it. I remember they had these... I don't remember the last time they had these, but um, they did have these a while back. And I think part of the reason I didn't get them the first time because I thought, I can't put this in my pocket. This will drive me crazy. Um, so this is the strawberry. just thought it was super cute. Um, it smells really nice. So it's just, I, I think the other reason is I don't really like to, the lip balms I need to put my finger in and use. Now, I don't know if it's full all the way to the bottom of this, but it feels really smooth. Let's see. It feels, I mean, it's not supremely, like, it's not real, real thick and creamy. It's just really, like, slick feeling. So, I don't know if it's actually moisturizing or not. It's just kind of really cute <laughs> more than anything. So, yeah, that's really adorable. Like I said, they have a lemon and a green apple one as well. So, they had it sneakily up by the checkout in my Dollar Tree. Um, I've got a CVS haul I'm going to do next. So, stay tuned if you want to see that. And then um, I think I have an empties video to do today. So I'm going to be doing a few different things today. So thanks for watching. Bye.